Okay, so um, hi everyone. Today I've got a small pet haul for you. Um, I went to Pets at Home um, and I also have something from Morrison's but I just popped it in this bag just to make it easier. Um, so yeah, it's only a few items but I thought I would uh, show you anyway. Here we have um, some hay. Um, now I needed new hay so I just thought I was going to get my regular um, either Burgess Excel or the Pets at Home kind of hay but um, I saw this and this was actually on special offer. It's usually like £7 or something but it was reduced to like £5 so it's still pretty expensive just for a sort of um, what size bag is this? 1.8 kilograms? I don't know. So I don't know if that seems heavy or not. It's pretty heavy, but yeah, I don't know. Um, anyway, yeah, so it's a Timothy Hay. Um, I always thought it was alfalfa. I don't know why I didn't see this big Timothy sign, but I always just sort of read this and just thought it was alfalfa hay. Um, but it is Timothy Hay, I've made sure of that, and it looks really green. I don't know if you can tell from the packet. Um, my camera's not that good, but um, to tell the light from. But yeah, when I first saw the picture, I actually thought... Um, that this was the grass and I was like that is insanely green but it's actually this but it still looks really fresh and good and stuff so yeah um, I don't know why there's a turtle on there I don't know if turtles can eat hay or not I don't know so yeah um, that's uh, basically that um, it's quite a small bag but it says it's doubly compressed so hopefully I'll get quite a lot out of it and hopefully the guinea pigs will like it too Alright, so next up, um, I'll just have a look at this bag. We have this hanging toy. Um, I always try and get hanging toys a lot of the time because I don't like things that just sort of lie on the floor. I quite like sort of hangy interactive toys. It means that they can... Uh... Oh, I'm going to sneeze. I thought I was going to sneeze. <laughs> um, yeah, it means that um, it'll save space on the floor as well. So, yeah, that's good. Um, so yeah, this is a rattan and rope chew, so it's just this sort of natural ropey material with a wooden block there, it's like, it's a natural sort of wooden, and then this big sort of rattan ball, and then this sort of green um, other wood block thing, so it's quite cool, and hopefully they'll take bit of interest in that. It's quite long as well and big. Um, it was three ninety nine, so I mean like pretty pricey but not too bad. Let's see if we can. We're going to focus in on this right end. I don't think so. No, not really. Anyway, it says, um, let's see what it says. Um, our rat hand rope chew has been specially designed to keep your vet entertained made from natural materials. This hanging toy offers a variety of different textures to nibble on, helping to keep your pet's teeth a healthy length. Um, so yeah, that's a little toy that I got them. Ooh, focus, focus. It's not focusing. Hello? It's focused to here. Why is it not focusing? We're gonna see it. Right, I'll leave it a minute. Okay. Um. Next, I'll show you the last thing that we got from Pets at Home, which are these Rollinis. Hold on. Ah, there we go. Okay. Which are these Rollinis um, by Vitacraft? Um. So yeah, they are the Betty ones, I presume. Um, it says that they have a rabbit, but I was looking at the ingredients. It's going to be really hard to find the English, but I did find it. And I was reading it, and it all seemed absolutely fine for um, guinea pigs. There was no, like, anything bad or whatever. But you do have to be careful with Vitacraft products and treats and stuff because they do add, like, egg and stuff into quite a bit of their... Uh, guinea pig treats. Now the last thing I have is actually not from Pets at Home, um, although I just decided to add it in this haul because I got it 
I got it yesterday, so I suppose it's still pretty recent. Um, this is actually from Morrison's, and I actually got it for my um, guinea pigs Christmas, but they really liked it, and I finished it just a few days ago, so I decided to pick up some more, because it's pretty cheap, and I was in Morrison's, and I had um, some money. <laughs> so, yep. Um, it's the dandelion salad made from natural ingredients. So, yeah, it's really green, really fresh, healthy treat. Um, so, yeah. You can sort of read that there. I'm so sorry, my camera's really bad at focusing. But anyways, yeah. Um, this wasn't supposed to be a long haul and it sort of dragged on a little bit. But, um, yeah, that's all I got. Um, I just got poor things. Um, so... Yeah, if you've got any questions about anything that I've shown, then do not hesitate to ask. Um, thanks a lot for watching. I will catch you guys later. Bye.